morning everybody so right now we're up bright and early it is 604 and we should have been left the house by now um as you can see i'm not dressed but i'm finishing up the last minute packing things obviously today is the moving vlog which is super sad but i'm excited so this is the last little look of my room i'm gonna miss her half of my room is like not in here like all of my makeup stuff isn't over there the mirror that's usually in the corner isn't over there my closet is super freaking empty like it's it's sad it's getting real i have to get dressed i'm gonna do very very light makeup and then pack up the last few bit of electronics and i don't know if i'm driving my car like i know i'm taking my car with me but my mom and my dad are also coming so i don't know if my mom or my dad well i don't know if my mom's gonna drive my car or i'm gonna drive my car one of the two but i'm about to get the show on the road because we need to be leaving now so this is we're already not off to a great start considering that we're late because it's gonna take us two and a half hours to get there we need to be there between nine and ten and i want to get there at nine we cannot leave any later than like 6 15. so let me get this show on the road hi guys so obviously it's been a little minute since i checked in um obviously the lashes came off they were one of the first things to go because 
it was a lot but let me just give y'all a room tour really quick very brief and i'm not 100 percent done it's just like a majority of it's decorated and everything it's livable let me say that it's livable but there's obviously a few finishing touches that i can add to it i just closed the blinds so you guys aren't able to tell where i live um so here's a little overview of everything so this is a door i'm not gonna close it that's stuff that i have to put away i'm not showing y'all the bathroom because it's not finished but I'm not showing y'all the closet either because it's also not finished but over here to the left are these two cute picture frames and i want to add something down here because i just feel like it's really boring and like this is a pretty big wall for there to be nothing on it then over here i have my calendar with like just a few dates on it and then also roll tide at the top that's a window here is my little desk um the reason why that's purple is because i have to finish setting it up so i have my printer there ink um cleaner for the whiteboard and then my book bag which isn't going to stay there then i have this chair with this gold pillow on it i have my computer which is propped up on like this little desk thing um, a picture of me and my mom, plants, elephants. Over here, I have scissors, box cutter. This, which goes to my fan, which I'll show you in a minute. Receipts, um, expo markers, eraser thing. Just a whole bunch of random stuff in there. And then also another elephant and a plant. And I'm sorry that y'all hear that noise. It's, I think it's like crickets or something like that. I don't know. Then over here, I have my weekly calendar, um, like my weekly overview, and then my planner. And then right here, I obviously have a little trash can. In here, that's where my fan is. It's not going to stay there forever. It's just where it is right now. And then here's my TV. Um, I have both of these elephants. They're on both sides. And then right here, I have a little entertainment center that has a little basket and a candle. There's my lashes that I took off. Disregard. And then, of course, this mirror had to come with me because much love to her. And then this is the bed from the corner. So... I think it looks really good, not gonna lie. This bed frame that I actually got was, and it's a king size, was only $100, and it fits perfectly in this space. So I got pillows from random places, bedding from random places, and then this little green throw over here, which now that I'm looking at it, it is very much off-centered. I have um, a lamp, which is also now crooked, and I wanted these mirrors because I saw this thing on Pinterest a long time ago, and it was like a mirror above the nightstand, and I was like, that's genius. So I got a mirror for that, then this little nightstand, and then underneath, disregard that, that's like a power surge protector. That's like all my medicines and stuff like that. Then also this bench, which in here, it has like blankets and then my heating pad for right now. That can be better organized, but... I'll worry about that later then over here i have another mirror another lamp i have my you know what that is i'm not gonna say because it it's gonna go off and then i have the drawers and in here i just have my uh purse and my keys i didn't do any grocery shopping today but i do have leftovers from like a very 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 late lunch so i'm just gonna eat that and then tomorrow i'll pick back up on the vlog when we go out and do some more shopping just to add the last few finishing touches to my apartment Good morning. This thing's gonna cut my head off, so I have to squat down. But first night in my apartment was not bad. Um, I'm a little worried about a couple things because I'm breaking out right now, and it could be from a multitude of things. It could be from because I like took a shower last night and I didn't wash my towels before using them, so it can be from that, or it can be from the actual water itself, which I pray, I pray that it's not because if it is. Then I'm gonna have to get a whole little filter thing installed, but that's all another story for another day. But it is currently 10:26, and I'm up and getting ready for the day. I don't know if I'm wearing makeup, cause like it's really hot. Like if you live in Alabama, it's hot. Like we don't have like summer, spring, fall, winter. It's either summer or winter. Like there is quite literally no in between. Very, very rare. But I have to run a couple errands. I was gonna do some grocery shopping today, but my mom and my dad are coming back on Saturday. So my mom said just eat out for the next couple of days. And then when she gets here, we'll actually do all the grocery shopping. Um, I can just pick up like some small snacks today. But the fit is super cute. Obviously, you know where everything's from. The top is airy, bottom is airy, which I'm not the biggest fan of this top just because i don't like how it goes in but that's just a personal preference like i have a bigger chest so tops like this aren't always ideal for people with bigger chests but it is what it is like i said i'm about to do very light makeup like i think i'm gonna 
do maybe just like eyebrows and a little bit of concealer like that's it because it's hot like i said and i don't really plan on doing too too much today um the only thing i gotta do is run my errands and then come back home and finish up doing stuff with my apartment i have to have the maintenance guy come to look at my water again because yesterday i had the guy come look at the water and he was extremely rude and all he said was okay let me go see if i have another valve left canceled my maintenance request and didn't come back so i have to go to the office and ask for someone differently because he was just extremely rude like when i had even asked about the fan in my bedroom he said that there's four speeds there's not four speeds there's two it's either fast slow or it's not on like that's it so he was really rude about that and i was like you know what? it's fine like i have a small little fan if i get hot whatever but I, i'll just have to be really cold at night like i really don't care that much problem solved but the water pressure it's not even like when i take a shower because when i take a shower i'm fine like it's hot water it's really hot water when i take a shower love it but if i wanted to take a bath like the stream of water is like consistent when it's cold but the moment you turn it to hot it literally like starts to trickle like it's not the same water pressure and I'm like, yeah, no, if I'm paying rent, hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to take a bath, I'd like to be able to take a bath and the water be running how it's supposed to run. So, yeah, have to deal with all of that stuff today. But I'm, I could put in another maintenance request, but I am going to tell them specifically I don't want the person I was here yesterday because he was rude. I don't want him ever in my apartment again. He was rude. No thanks. You can call me dramatic, but first impressions are everything, and the first impression was not great. So... Now that I'm looking on camera, these look like two different shades of brown, but I promise y'all in person, they're the exact same shade. They're just different textures, so it looks different. First night in my apartment was pretty good. Um, I slept well, I would say. I did wake up at like four in the morning because my heating pad slid off my bed. I have silk sheets or like silky satin sheets, whatever, and they slid right off the bed. <laughs> So I woke up at 4 in the morning because I was cold and I didn't have anything to warm me up and then I realized my heating pad was on the floor. I have a lot of like things that I really need to get today. Um, I was going to do my makeup in here but it turns out like the lighting here is bad and like the way that my makeup is stored. I'll show you in a second. I don't like how it is. So I'm going to get a little caddy that I can just put out there in a corner and just do my makeup out there because I... This little caddy situation, me literally having to bend down to get my makeup stuff, no. Like this is not something I want long term. So on the list of things or places I need to go today, I'm going to go to Target first because I want to get Starbucks. My friend um, at my old job, or like my home location, she told me, she was like, well she knows that I'm on like this whole little kick where I don't have coffee for 21 days and she sent me a drink recommendation so i'm gonna go to starbucks to try it and i'm hoping there's a starbucks in the target that i'm going to my under eyes are really deep holy crap did i not sleep last night like my under eye bags are really bagging today so starbucks target and then i have some returns or they're gonna be exchanged or store credit because i don't have the receipt for majority of the stuff that i bought um i have receipts but i don't know if it's like to the stuff that i have so i'm just like okay the tags are still on it can i just do a store credit like that's fine i'll end up using it anyways because i need to buy other stuff for my apartment about to put all this stuff in my car take some to the dumpster let me just show y'all what happened hold on this car is passing so like let me turn my blinker off to basically the starbucks is going to be super busy and there's a line right now and you obviously can't block the street so we're all waiting right here to get in right and as y'all can see there's a car right there okay and there's a car in front of me and so a lady that was behind me literally pulled up and just called herself hopping in line right there and i'm looking at her like are you serious like no that is not for you to just hop right there obviously there's people in line we have our blinkers on nice try though and then she finally got the hint and just pulled up over there and parked because no you're not you're not gonna get in front of us no absolutely not you're gonna be right behind me and you can get your drink after mine no ma'am i get a grande iced chai tea latte yeah. one pump brown sugar one pump vanilla yeah. caramel drizzle in the cup and on top and then cold foam, please. Yes, thank you so much. I'm so sorry about that. You're fine. Good deal. Yes. 891, thank you. Thank you. 
looks good. Y'all saw me order it. It looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste test. I like that. Oh, this is so good. It's like Christmas in a cup. I love it. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. I will most definitely be ordering that for the rest of my fasting. Ran a few. That's my uh, DoorDash cam. DoorDash cam? That's my dash cam. There it is. Uh, so I just got finished running my errands. I returned. What did I return to Home Goods? I returned something to Home Goods and I got some store credit from there. Then I returned something from TJ Maxx, got some store credit there. They had the little car thing that I was looking for in TJ Maxx. So I just took the store credit from Home Goods and the store credit from TJ Maxx and just combined them and only paid like $15 for it, which is really good. And it's like the very stereotypical, like little organizer thing with the drawers. Yeah, it's just gonna go in the corner of my room so I can do my makeup on it. But that's that. I need to go ahead and put that in the trash. Now I need to see where I need to head next because I'm not done with this extravaganza. I have to go to Target to get some stuff, so maybe that's my next stop. I don't know. I think I need to go to Sam's first because Sam's is the opposite direction. Like Sam's is that way, Target's that way. So we're gonna head to Sam's and then on the way back we'll go to Target. I still don't know if I want Shake Shack or Chipotle. I kind of want something a little bit lighter, so maybe Chipotle is the best route to go. I don't know. This Chipotle single-handedly makes me not miss Huntsville because I've told y'all about the terrible... Why did you park there? Anyways, I've told y'all about the terrible experiences that I've had at the Chipotle, um, the one that's closest to my house. And this just made up for it. Like, I'm going to put it in my apartment because I'm still trying to figure everything out. Um... They had great service. They had vinaigrette. Like, I was so happy. One girl was upset because they didn't have the al pasta or whatever, which I've never had. So, can't really say one or the other. But they had everything else for my, or they had everything for my order. So, I'm headed back to my apartment. And I, I'm kind of sort of getting used to things. Uh, I was going to go. But I definitely was going to get toe up if I did. Uh, I like know the general area, kind of like it. There's really not much to it. Like back to the apartment, I gotta unpack everything. I spent sixty-six dollars at uh, or no, sixty-four dollars at Target, and I got they had the Kim Kardashian energy drink, so I got two of them just to try. And there was another lady like in front of me, and I was like, "Have you ever had them?" She's like, "Yeah, me and my kids love them. Like that's the only one that we drink." And I was like, "What about this flavor?" She's like, "This one and guava." But I didn't get the guava because where I was, like, there was only the Kim K energy drinks. And I was like, "You know what? I've been wanting to try this. Might as well grab two of them to see what they're hidden for." May not try them today just because energy drinks can kind of make me like feel not bad, but just like what I call out of body. Like I don't feel like myself when I have energy drinks sometimes. So I'm gonna try it like on a day where I know I'll just be at home chilling. So that if I don't feel like myself, it's fine. But I got my Chipotle, I have a nice cold Coke with some pebble, well not pebble ice, but with some ice waiting for me at home. So yeah, I am very, very happy to get back to the apartment. Listen, the hair had to go up. It was so hot outside, me trying to move these last few little items into my apartment. Um, like that, the hangers, and then the stuff that I got from Target. And I also had to stop. They literally did not give me any silverware. I had to stop at the front office to basically handle the situation with the maintenance man. Um, they fixed it. The only thing they said was like, uh, for future reference, like I just have to, whenever I put in a work order, I have to pres have to say prefer this particular person um, so that I can get the, hopefully one that's nicer to me. And then if it's like an emergency, I'll have to deal with the guy that wasn't so nice to me. But I'm about to sit on this little bench because I have this bench at the end of my bed and sit extremely close to the TV and watch Real Housewives of Orange County because that is my show. I'm just gonna relax for a while. I don't know if I'm gonna go back out I have to see everything, assess the damages, see what else I might need, and then I'll go from there. Okay, so now I have my little makeup corner set up, and I think it's so cute. It's definitely giving college girl. Like, everything else looks like, you know, pretty sophisticated, and then there's this. It's my room. Tackling this, because the corner of my closet, I would show y'all, 
but I'm just too embarrassed to show all the corner of my closet. Like, it looks bad. My mom told me to, because I keep texting my mom, and I'm like, when you come back on Saturday, bring me this, bring me this, bring me this. And she's like, just make a list on Friday of everything that you need me to bring. So I'm going to have her bring back one of the shower caddies, because that one was about to fall off. It lasted like a solid 12 hours. <laughs>